All right, we're back and we're going to kick off with module four. And this time we're going to use the data workspace and create some of those model driven forms and views that we're going to use to surface Dataverse data on our Power Pages site. First thing I'm going to do, of course, we're on the Power Pages homepage. I'm just going to go and edit my site. And of course, we should be up to this point where we've added some of the logo and the branding and some of the pictures from our last module. This time we're going to go into the data workspace. Now, any changes that we make here to our tables, our forms, and our views are going to you know, be part of the default solution. So what we actually want to do for our solution is set the actual solution. It's already been set to pages in a day, but you might have some other solutions here. You could create your own as well in Power in the Solution Explorer from the home page. Here, I'm just going to choose Power Pages in a Day. Our solution's been updated. And now what we want to do is take a search for some of the tables. Now, remember in our Last module, we uploaded the student files and with there, there was the machine ordering canvas app that we used to create some records. And we made sure that those records existed by using the machine order model driven app. Now we're in our Power Pages site. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the machine order table and we have it here. We're gonna select that. And what we're gonna do is configure forms that we're going to use for our Power Pages form site. So thing will, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the forms and I'm going to select the supplier form because that's the one we're going to use on our Power Pages site to build our form object. This is what I would call a Dataverse form because this is what's used for model driven apps. On our web page, we're going to create a Power Pages form, which it is based on this, but it is slightly different. So just keep in mind that those are two different components. We're using one to kind of form the other. So we already have some fields here, but what I want to do is add some additional fields. So I'm going to add the comments, slide that on. I'm going to add the supplier order ID because we're making this a supplier portal. Let's add this in there and also the estimated ship date. And once we've added those table columns, we're going to Make sure our comments are underneath our approver. Let's just make sure this all looks pretty straightforward. Just a little side thing, this is not in the student instructions, but I always just like to slide the owner up into the heading because this is the owner of the record from the Dataverse side. First off, that's not going to be displayed on the web page by default. So what I like to do is just take it off this form, put it up there. You do need it on the form, but that's why putting it in the header is just something that I do. All right, now the other thing we wanna do is make this machine name read only because we have this as existing data. So on the right-hand side, you have a bunch of different properties here. We're going to make this read only. So we see here a little lock icon there. So our users are not gonna be able to modify that. We don't want that to change. And we also wanna do this for things like the price. Yes, comments and the approver. Actually, no, hold on, we'll make this read only. And also the price, read only. Not lock, read only, perfect. So now that we have those uh, fields all locked in there, that's cool. And now we just want to go here, save and publish. And this wraps up module four. So now we're going to move on to module five.